M0FXB, Yesu FTX1 and WSJTX. If you scroll down, there is a test version available, version 3.00. If you click that, you'll be able to download it and update the one you've got. So let me show you my settings. We go to the software. I'll show you that we've got frequency control. Watch the radio. Just one USB cable on the, on the left side there. Just where you can see the green sticking out. Okay, and we've used the preset on the radio. But you can see I was changing frequency. Let me just show you the preset. So if you just hold down the band, you can tap, actually not the band, the mode is the NW mode button. See, it says preset. So what we did, we tapped data U and then pressed our finger and held preset. And you'll see that, you know, we're on the FT8 one. Let's go back. And it's heightening it off and then on. Look. So we're on the preset that's selectable. And so now we'll go back to over here to file, top left, file. Move this back out of the way. It is a data cable, you know, you don't want one of those cheap charging ones. File settings. And they have now added on the drop down under radio, you've got general and radio here drop down you've now got ftx1 which is great notice i've got com 18 here and 38400 then i've selected default one and eight and i've got here one data apparently you can use usb as well and cat here haven't this cat 22 i haven't selected but this one i have okay and what you'll find when you've selected the right items the green test cat will go green basically uh, if we go to audio we've got microphone to usb audio device there you are it nearly always is that radio general first tab call sign and location i haven't done any of these yet but if you want to do grid tracker we'll change some of these but not in this video click ok uh, back to radio audio general so let's just try the test cat. It's not lighting up now, which is typical, because it was just now. Let's click OK. Now, if I press uh, File Settings. Yeah, it's not letting me do it now, of course. Let me see if I can get it to transmit using the software. No, it stopped. Just now, it was working great. One second. OK. Do you know what? With a slight delay, it just started doing it. So you'll see now. Bring this up. If I just do the tune, you know, for when you're tuning and you can move this power up and down here. You, you can change your audio input settings here. See this green bit here on the bottom left. Adjust your audio uh, to keep that out of the red. That's what you want to do. And if I go tune, you'll see it goes into transmit. OK, now. As you see, it's gone into error, so I haven't got it perfect yet. And I've noticed that um, sometimes it jams into transmit. And I have to turn it on and off. Now, someone else might have some settings that they feel are better than mine. I've checked the board rate on my, you see the green's coming up now. If I go right click, device manager, go down to port. And the one you're looking at is here, look, COM18 enhanced. And if, if I go click on that right click properties, port, it's 38400, which is what we want. Now we've got the test cat, and I know that's working because um, it's changing frequency. So you see, it's not perfect. And you could, I, I, I want some feedback. So if someone says to me, no, try this, try that. I'm just trying USB now. Uh, retry here. File. Settings. test on one, a different video i saw it was on 32 bit but i remember thinking well my bit my computer is 64. click ok yeah so you see it's sort of lost control lost <laughs> connection now 
I'm going to file exit and then I'm going to bring it back up like so. So I've got the test cat has come back up now. It's gone green and test PTT. Let's try that one. There you are. So that is working there. And if I enable, click OK, uh, error in sound input. So it's still something it doesn't quite like. I'll click enable TX, see if it actually does the cycle. Yeah, it's not quite doing the cycle. It's receiving fine. We're getting the nice scope and you can see it's, it's, in, it's, it's stuck on TX there. I've got my HF antenna connected. So I'll keep tinkering, but really this video is, I'm going to turn it off now, is to show you that there's a new 3.0 WSJTX test version available. Send me some tips if you think, oh no, tick that, try this, try that, and then we can get this getting some nice contacts. I've seen another video of someone who has got contacts with the same settings. So it'll, you know, I might even try this on my laptop because I do find that sometimes that having a different PC just works. Bye for now, all the best.